On today's episode of Mummy's Boy, we discuss what the real fake taxi is. Why Lisa thinks I should start cleaning toilets. <laughs> and why I'm excited about getting my colours done, sweeties. Remember to like and subscribe so you never miss an episode. <laughs> it's Mummy's Boy. Hello and welcome to Mummy's Boy with me, Arthur Hill, and my adorable and polyphilic progenitive. <laughs> <laughs> Is that one of yours? Poly, what's Poly, it, what's polyphilic progenitive. Polyphilic progenitive. What the flipping heck does that mean? Which obviously means extremely prolific, tending to produce offspring or characterised by love of offspring. <laughs> yeah, that's me. Thank you. Oh, I love that word. Say hello, Mum. Well, hello. Deep down, I've always been a mummy's boy at heart, and in this weekly <laughs> podcast, I get to spend some quality time with Mum and receive some much-needed advice that only a mother can give. Mm. But sometimes my mum needs help too. TikTok, social media, viral videos, celebrities. These are all things which my poor mum just can't get her head around. Mm. So I'm here to help her before the modern world leaves her behind. Bless it. Not only will I help her unravel the mysteries of youth and bring her into the digital age, but I'll also be making Lisa's motherly wisdom available. <laughs> Arthur! Wow. Oh, my Lord. Every, what is it about that? It's I'm my motherly wisdom. My motherly wisdom. That's uh, because I got my wisdom tooth out. <laughs> Um, to all of you as well. Oh, God. dear Lord. So if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for Arthur's mum to read, slide into our DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or send us a message or even a voice note. You know how we love those. To WhatsApp on 07822 013837. And no matter what oh, the issue, on. I will ask her in a feature I like to call mum. <laughs> Can we talk? God, yes. And don't forget, <laughs> there is only one week to oh go Lord, oh till our God. very first Mummy's Boy live show with special guests George Clark and Arthur TV and the 2024 podcast show in London on the ah. 22nd of May. Just head to Mummy's Boy Pod on Instagram and click the link in bio for tickets. It's going to be carnage. Right. <laughs> I can't wait. It is. <laughs> it is. Welcome back. Thanks. How are you, Mum? I, like I like your top. Do you like my top? It's very yes, pink, isn't it? It is very pink. I'm having my colours done at the weekend. Colours done? Do you done. know about that? No. It's a thing that women do, apparently. What colours are changing? Well, no, well, no, where, you go and see somebody. Change? You go and see somebody and they tell you what colours you should be wearing. They give you your... Are I you know, fucking what serious? Fucking is that an actual thing? It is a thing. It is a... Th I know... And I have I have resisted <laughs> it for years because I've always Wait, said, don't so, be bloody what? silly. I can pick my own colours. But Livy has very kind, very, very dear friend of ours, has offered to pay for Charlotte, Arthur's twin. To get your colours. I'm having to explain so much. Um, so, But now I'm actually quite excited. Maybe I shouldn't wear pink. <laughs> I'm wearing it. But what do they, what's it based on? This is on fascinating. Your, on, your, on your skin tone, your, on your eye colour, and they tell you what lipstick colours you can wear and, and what your hair colour should be. At 60. I'm doing it at 60. Yeah. So I could suddenly be like, I could be from now on be wearing something completely different as of next week. I might I have different colour hair. This sounds like a scam to me. I might this have different colour like hair. I might. Someone's made up a thing. I was, I'm no, get it's not. It's a thing. Who, no, we're not vulnerable. And just, and be, oh my God, blue. Blue's your colour. And you'll be like, I always knew it. I always knew it was blue. So I have to talk like that? Yeah, you do. Oh, it's lovely. I love blue. You're going to have like little brunch before bottomless Actually, samosas. Have, yeah. Okay, bugger off. Enough. <laughs> go, but anyway. Go I, get your colours done. <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. <laughs> Oh, oh, well, there no, you go. I'm, I'm well, excited but to hear, excited to hear all be. about it. I'll yeah. be able to bring in my, my new colour palette. I'll be able oh, to show the world well. my new colour palette. Blimey. Anyway, so well. that's how I am. Um, well, we have a guest today, Mum. I, keep I know. The... Stop hitting things. Um, we do have a guest. We do have a guest. All it's the very... way from down under. Oh, it's amazing. He's going to come up. <laughs> is he going to come from there no, or is no? Is he going to no. come through the floor? He's going to come through the floor. He's digged a little, all he's the digged. way. No, he's driven. I think he might have dug. Digged, yeah. He didn't he dig. Dug. He, he dug. Yeah, he dug. But actually he didn't. He drove. He drove. Well, he didn't drive here. Can no, you drive? He drove a little you way. You can't drive from Australia. That's Not stupid. really, no. It would take a long time. Um, and we just got in the car with him as well. We did. It was so much fun. He drove fun. us around. Now you're going to drive him crazy. Oh! <laughs> 
Good one. Well done, It's Arthur. Darren Levy. <laughs> yes. Dressed like a true Aussie in his yeah, shorts. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Look at him. Excuse what me. a dude. You brought the this. sun with you, as us, yeah, us Brits would say. as we would say. First nice day. Yeah. yeah. First nice day. Beautiful day. First nice day of the year. Oh. How are you? I'm very well. How are you both? We're good. Very good. Are you We're still good. feeling all right well, after I'm that? Well, just, yeah. just getting over your driving, yeah. but you know. Right. Darren nearly killed us. <laughs> he did. Well, no. And several Actually, other people. Yeah, it, was, yeah, it was the other people I was worried about. I wasn't too mm. worried about us. It was the other people. <laughs> just mm. stop for that. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah. But no, you yeah, were no, a... you were very good, actually. Most of the a time. A zebra crossing's not a thing zebra in Zebra crossing. Australia. They are. They are. Oh. I, just, I, I don't know if I've sweat as much as I did in this trip. It's very built up. It's lunchtime here in well, London. Yes, yeah, it is a big I was, yeah. I, And, you know, new country and all of that. I was a little bit nervous. You were, were Trying you? not to, Bless to, you. to hurt anybody. Well, yeah. you, you, did, you did very well. You did Thank very you. Well. Yes. Thank and you. We, even had a, we even had a whistle and a what's it? Um, a whistle and a what's it? Uh, what did, motorcade. What's it called? Motorcade. motorcade Thank yeah. you. We did. We had so a motorcade. We had that. We nearly collided with a double decker bus. We had we went cyclists. went the wrong way down we a one way street. Wrong way down a one way <laughs> street. It was really. Twice. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah I mean, twice. You know, we've done it all. What happened? It was great. It was great. And you were great. Time, you were both oh, great. Oh, we were fabulous. Yeah. I was Stop just that. hanging on by the skin of my teeth. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can I just say? Yes. I think you would look great with blue hair. I think it would work. <laughs> 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 Blue hair. <laughs> to think of well, hey, it might happen. <laughs> yeah. It might wow. happen. Yeah, I'll keep you posted. Please do. Never had any kind of sort of bold highlights. Did you ever have like a pinky thing going on? Oh well, I had that. I did have a disastrous sort of red streak oh, thing God. at one point yeah. over Christmas. It was absolutely hideous. Midnight it looked like crisis. something off East Eastenders. Slag. <laughs> <laughs> Slag. Slag. Mm. Do, do, you, slag, do you know about is slags? A slag in Australia? Are there slags in Australia? <laughs> there are slags in Australia. We don't call them slags. <laughs> do you not? Do you no. call them sluts? Uh, I personally laughing? wouldn't, but but people would. Well, maybe I would. Apparently, you see. Yeah, we're yeah. learning things. You, we're learning. Well, you already knew, but um, slug. <laughs> slug and slat slag and slut are now um positive and affirmative words no well, yeah. not, not well according to harriet rose no, but there's a way you have to phrase it well okay am i going to call someone a slut and get a yeah, slap on the yeah, face after yeah, this well, like, quite not possibly. telling you to go up to girls and say you you, you big fucking you slut big you. Fucking but lisa said that's but, okay now yeah, yeah but if you say something like oh, i'm in even men are allowed to say i'm in my slut era yeah that's uh, the kind of that's, that's the, the thing yeah. isn't it it's uh, like yeah. the vibe when you put era you know. in front of in at the end of something it makes it okay i think oh does it i've noticed yeah. i think because oh. it means there's a beginning and end of it so, yes, so if you're in a few, oh, okay. yeah, so yeah, yeah. Good point. I don't think anybody wants mm. to stay in their slut era. Yeah, I could be wrong. <laughs> no, but... <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. been in my slut era for sixty years. Oh. Gosh, yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> so we were in your car mm -hmm. willingly. <laughs> <laughs> um, because you have a podcast sure. called Podcast. Pod nice. Very yeah. nice. Yeah. Correct. I bet you were thrilled when you came up with that, weren't you? I uh, yeah, very. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Were you yeah. pissed? No. No. Oh, no. Oh, that's it was a surprise. I'd I'd love to take credit for it, but it wasn't my idea. Was it not? Oh. No, it was a suggestion. Oh, and okay. and like most great things in my life, it wasn't because of me. It was because somebody said you should do this. Oh, I was like, yes. No, no, I don't mean it like that. No, 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 no I'm okay. just I'm just not taking credit for it. Well, but that's good of you. But um, so I've, I've got a sh like a really fast paced show called Funny Uber Rides, mm -hmm. and that's where you're yes. having a laugh with people. But I couldn't really have a conversation like a longer conversation with no. people. No. So podcast. And that's I get to chat with people, to... and we can. So you're the so the funny ones, the mm. Uber ride ones. Mm. Are they shorter and with people that you already know, or how so, how does that work? Fair question. So the first, so I've been doing this for like seven years, and the first four God. years were purely Uber rides, and then over God. time, over time, I set up like a booking form, and people can. Oh, that's smart. Can oh. can kind of come inbound, um, and then also like I. It was the first time I've ever done this in England. So mm. reaching out to people saying, hey, yes. like you guys crack me up. Would you want to come for a ride in a little lime green car? And just <laughs> it's and the cutest car. <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it goes. So that's kind of it. It goes. Yeah. It does <laughs> go. So are you still it. like an actual Uber driver? 
back in back Australia, Australia yeah. from time to time. Wow. From time to time. It, there's, it's, uh, it's not the most efficient way to mm. make content. Yeah. Because, you, you <laughs> no. know, obviously not everybody wants to be in a video and that kind of a no. thing. Yeah, because I was going to ask about that. Like the first four yeah. years. Mm. Four years? Were you just filming it and then just posting it and people were just like, well, did you have to like... Did yeah. you have to? Did you have to be like? By the way, it's a <laughs> whole yeah. So there's the five cameras. So the 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 process was, or the grind was, mm. uh, I would drive on a Friday and Saturday night. Yeah, and you try to yeah. like meet as many people as you can. I would yeah. drive from like eight nine p.m. to like six a.m. Oh wow! Oh, and my then God. maybe three of those people or those groups of passengers are awesome, funny, but they're probably yes. drunk. Yeah. And yes. you can't get legal consent from somebody when they're when intoxicated. They're d- oh. So you get their details and you, you, you ask them if they want to be in a video, but yeah. that doesn't legally count. That doesn't so you, count. you get their details, you follow up with them later on in the week. And of those three groups, <laughs> maybe one or two of them are like, yeah, I'm down. But then somebody's like, no, nah, I don't want to be in it. And no. you have to respect that. Uh, yeah. Because they were out with, the, with somebody they shouldn't have been. Exactly. There's yeah. a lot of that. I bet. There's a lot of oh that my at 2 God. a.m. The booty How call. How marvelous. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> Do you like a bit of a booty call? Yeah, I do. Is that, I, yeah, is that, I, I think that's hysterical. <laughs> Isn't that great? You don't like a booty call. A booty what? You don't like a booty call. What's a booty call? You just said you like them. Yeah. I, I, Darren just asked you, do you he? like a booty call? And you're like, yes, I love it. That's oh, on did camera. I? <laughs> I was just being nice. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know what I thought you said, but I didn't think you said that. What did you say? A booty, booty call. Booty call. I thought booty we'd call. Have you spoken about What's booty that? calls before. Well, booty something to do with the bottom, isn't it? Mm. Booty call is like a late night. You'll like message someone when you're drunk or just when it's late and you're like, can I come over? Oh, thing. for a bit of how's your father? <laughs> 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 no yeah sure yes. yeah yeah yeah. I, 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 yeah I don't know what i've never heard that phrase before but how's I your father that's what oh it is. come on Arthur. how's your father how's your father that's awesome What's, why, <laughs> why that i don't know it's just what it's always been called i guess it's more like who's your daddy now Oh, well, yeah. Well, we don't want to go down no. that route again. No. Again? Oh, I see. Yeah, we have, to, we have talked about that. Um, Beautiful. Yeah, we have, haven't we? Smack me hard and call me daddy or something. Oh. <laughs> yeah. it, was, it was something like that. I can't remember who that was with. Well, we can, we can watch some clips. Oh, fabulous. Of course we can. We can, we can do... Oh, brilliant. Oh, hell yeah. Um, I think you'll like this one, Mum. Okay. Let's have a look. Is the C word like a really, really bad word in Australia or is it like normal bad word? No, it's a very bad word here. C word is like a term of endearment. Uh, oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's like, oh, what's up? <laughs> it's Yo, that's like, oh, chill, chill. <laughs> chill. Yeah. You're in America now. <laughs> yeah. You can't say that. A very common swear word in Australia is. Yes. But that is such a no no here. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, well, or we it, or a pussy, it. like. <laughs> yeah. I mean it with love. It's a, <laughs> it's a positive thing. Hey, f- you. Is that love? <laughs> it's a very, very bad word everywhere. No, it's see, little... it's changing. The, t- the tide is changing. On, on... It's a little bit like slut, apparently. Yeah. Apparently. It's, it's, yeah, apparently, mm. according to you. Apparently, according to me. <laughs> yeah, you know. We've had a lot of talk about how mum serves. <laughs> oh, he said it. <laughs> what? I really hate actually Excuse hearing it. Serving <laughs> I do, apparently. I've never heard that saying. You haven't heard that? There oh, you I've go. never heard those words put in that formation. Yeah. So, so <laughs> how do you... How yeah, do you, exactly. Appa- it's, what is it? <laughs> Bad bitch energy. Yeah, it's okay. like that kind of thing. Like she's serving... She's serving That's C-word. awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Well, thanks. How long have you been yeah. serving? I know. I've been serving, <laughs> I've been doing that for, it's probably about six months, isn't it? I think since that yeah, first probably. came out. But you've, I, I think you've been doing it your whole life, really. Do you think I have? <laughs> Without realising. Yeah. I even yeah. wrote a poem for Arthur's 25th birthday recently mm. and used those very words yeah. in it. Who, in a, in who a poetic did you, style. Did you present it to somebody? Or was it uh, in a Just car? to Arthur. Okay. Enough, yeah, enough. just to Arthur. That's yeah. beautiful. It's uh, beautiful. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a lovely thing to be treasured yeah. always. <laughs> Um, so we've got another clip, Mum. Excellent. Um, this one is called Fake Taxi. Right. Um, any guesses? Have you heard Fake Taxi before? No. Okay. Uh, well, let's watch it. Fake Taxi. No. Don't let's know. watch it. Yeah. Okay. There's totally no pressure, but I make these compilations for the internet. Yeah. And I was wondering if you wanted to be in one. Yeah, that's fine. It's a bit of fun. Uh, like Fake Taxi. 
No, it's, <laughs> it's certainly not. But you'd be surprised by how often that joke comes up. <laughs> actually, like, that show is great. Oh, it's really? It's a Canadian version of it, and it's so funny. And, like, I feel like I've had a few friends that have, like, rocked up on fake taxi, and I'm like, this is the best thing I've ever well, seen. Well, I don't think we're thinking, we're faked, what? I think, you know the show? Fake taxi is, yeah. fake taxi is porn. No! <laughs> yes, it is. No! <laughs> I'm no, sorry. in Canada, it's a show. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, yes. Yes. And it's I'm like sick. a quiz. And you get into quiz. it and it's like a quiz show. Are you thinking of cash, cash cab? Oh, that's what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> She's as bad as me. Sorry. Oh, fuck. That's so funny. That's brilliant. brilliant. So what is, fa- why is fake ta- why is a porn show called Fake Taxi? No, um, don't ask. Okay, no, don't oh, ask. I, I don't know. Okay. I haven't heard of it either. God. I don't think single females should get in the back of a car with you. I don't Whoa, know. Just, oh. I was educating you. I was No, so yeah. in fake taxi, single females, well, sometimes actually, there's many, many storylines. Are there? <laughs> they, <laughs> they, yeah, apparently, they, you know, they, allegedly. they can... They can uh, allegedly. It's sort of, you know, they can be on their way home to their boyfriend. They sort of suddenly, suddenly just get really horny in this taxi. Right. Something and he's like, well, uh, the guy in the front, there's like, oh, we can't pay. He's like, well, I could uh, think of another way. Oh, and really? And then they end up doing the business in the taxi. Okay. So, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And people watch that. Some, yeah, I've, I've heard. Some people. Yeah. Not you. Yeah. Obvs. And definitely not Darren because he's a nice boy. It was sort of, I'd say it was the most popular porn when I was in school. Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, it was the, it was the biggest one. Fake How old are you? 24. 25 now. Fuck. 25. Right, right. Okay, so that was the... That How was old are you? 30. Ah. Just 30. 30. But yeah, yeah. So you were... <laughs> Because <Why? laughs> I was wondering, but I'm not very good at age. Uh, well, when you said that you were 60, I was like, there's no way. No, at least 75. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bless you. That's very kind. Um, but no, yeah, that, yeah, fake taxi. So, and and it, what is it? A certain chap who's always driving. Um, I, it was, oh, there wasn't. A, there. Is there a cast of porn stars who take the taxi driver role? Oh, they're porn stars. Well, that's what you just said. <laughs> no, and, they're real people. As far as I was aware. Oh, hang on, I'm lost. What is not a? Wait, I fake thought, taxi's not real. No, Wait. Oh, Arthur, stop it. <laughs> No, Arthur. Yeah. Are you doing this to annoy? No, no, no. Yeah, I'm you are, no, I'm not. I'm not. Because they're, they're so, well, some, yeah, carry on. So this is a, this is a, this is a set up thing. There's a porn star who is pretending to be a taxi driver. No, and no, the, no, no. Well, okay. Yeah. The male is a, is a, is a. Yes. The no, male he's a taxi, taxi driver. driver. He's a taxi driver <laughs> and he picks up single w- women, <laughs> sometimes two women. But why does he have a camera in the thing in the cab unless it's a setup i don't understand I what, am i missing because something? he obviously you know well, think I know about, you have a think camera. about what darren was doing i could be the guy <laughs> think about what darren was doing you know he worked long shifts to try and get three three good bits out of out for a video yes so it's the same with the 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 fake taxi driver would drive around all night as a taxi driver but he just happened to have a, no this is nonsense <laughs> And maybe no, three of them okay, would sleep not... with him <laughs> on a good night. On a good night, yeah. Or maybe get. That, I think that's how that. it works. Maybe maybe we have to look into it. Maybe it is porn stars. <laughs> no, I think you're right. It's it's all. Yeah, I think it's, it's all, all, all just cuff. legit. Yeah, he just no, had a lot of games. No, it's not. Oh, stop it now! <laughs> you're surprised just taking... how much you know people forget their cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And he didn't take card, <laughs> which oh, is that's not? how he got them. Yeah. Of course. Can we just pay? Oh, it doesn't, I don't do it. No, I don't do it like that. Um, no. Yeah. Missed right, okay. Show. Well, now you know. And now I know. And they did switch it at the end. Do you remember when they switched it? So the woman was was the... There was, an, there was a time where there was a female taxi driver. Was Which there? felt really good for sort of the feminine... feminine female feminism empowerment. Movement. Yeah, yeah. The slut was driving. Because imagine yeah. that. <laughs> she she definitely would have slept with more. Because imagine that if she's in control. Yeah. 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 Rebecca Moore, I know her name. Rebecca Moore? The... Yeah, you that, are no, so I'm making serious. this shit up now. The Cock Destroyers. That was two oh, of them. Oh, stop no, I'm it. Not oh, I'm not joking. I'm not joking. 
That was a, what that was a duo. That here? was a duo. I didn't know they introduced the, the female. I didn't they know, did, they, I'm going to have to yeah. look this up. Just yeah, research. get it up. <laughs> 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 I'm totally yeah. freaked out now. I don't yeah. know what's going on. No, no. I don't know what's going on. Rebecca. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Rebecca Moore and Taxi the Cock driver. Destroyers. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. going to be my they also have, they're a reading material. It's mommy's boy. Right, let's swiftly move on oh, could we? from Fake Taxi <laughs> um, to our the nation's favourite game, which oh. we're now going to introduce to Australia. Mm. Yes. Um, mm. So, Darren, this is two lies and a truth. Yeah, he had to really think about that. Um, and I'm sure you've been you've been you've been quizzed. Mm. You've been mm. quizzed all over, mm. um, just like Fake Taxi. That's um, revolting. <laughs> That's anyway. Um, so okay. the, the two lies and the truth are all about <laughs> this week's guest, Darren Levy. Excellent. And the question is: Yes, Darren's popular YouTube, YouTube, oh, Lube Tube. Lube. Oh my god! <laughs> That's where your mind's at. <laughs> He's my, stuck. He's stuck in the dick zone. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's popular YouTube series, Funny Uber Rides, sees him get into a variety of bizarre interactions mm. as he drives people to their destinations. But which of the following statements are true? Oh God! Is it A. A passenger once gave Darren a haircut while he was driving. Oh. B. A passenger once tried to light Darren's hair on fire. Lots of hair stuff going on. C. A passenger once told his wife, who was sitting next to him, that he wanted a divorce. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh. 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 So two hair stories and one about Ooh. divorce. Okay. 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 Yep. We've well, got to have a break know. now. We, well, I think we about do, it. Yeah. So Don't let's we? have a break then. Oh, stop it. Join us in part two. We'll find out the answer. Yes. And we'll also be reading your mum can we talk correspondence. Hurrah. Plus Darren Ooh. has a confession to tell us for our feature called Mum, I've got something to tell you. God. So we will see you in part two. Wow. How exciting. Nice. It's mummy's boy. Welcome back. Before the break, we were playing Two Lies and a Truth, where we were trying to figure out which of the following statements about today's guest, Darren Levy, are true. Yes. This was the question. Darren's popular YouTube series, Funny Uber Rides, sees him get into a variety of bizarre interactions as he drives people to their destinations. But which of the following statements are true? Mm. Is it A, a passenger once gave Darren a haircut while he was driving? B, a passenger once tried to light Darren's hair on fire? C, a passenger once told his wife, who was sitting next to him, that he wanted a divorce? The rules. Yes. <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, but I think Darren takes great care of his hair. He's got very mm. smart hair. Good Thank head you. of hair on him. He's Thank got you. a very good head of hair on him. And so I don't think you'd be very happy about somebody coming at you with scissors <laughs> whilst you were driving. That's, that's just what I'm thinking. Mm. Uh, like, well, obviously, nobody'd want anyone to set their hair on fire. But uh, I think. And it's probably because she was looking at your lovely eyelashes. I did mention his eyelashes in the mm, car. Lisa, please. Listen, everyone's got to have a really good look at his eyelashes. <laughs> I don't think I've ever I noticed mean, eyelashes in my life. Have you Do not? You know what I, mean? I don't think I've ever looked at someone and thought <laughs> eyelashes. Have you not? No. I don't look think at so. his What's, beautiful eyelashes. Well, I thought he's got nice eyes, blue well, eyes. Yes, he has, but it's I, the I eyelashes. I wouldn't even think that about the eyelashes. Set them off. So I think that this woman who's going through a pretty rocky patch in her in her marriage is then sitting in the car and she sees you and she thinks, I've had enough of this bloke. Uh, okay. I want a wow. divorce. That's what I'm going for. Right I'm going for C. Right, oh. You, uh, yeah, do you want to guess? Oh, sorry, I'm going to guess A. You're going to go for A. Because that feels like good content to me. I feel like oh okay. You see, content, I never think about things no, like that. That's that's the content creator mind. Yeah, uh, I yeah okay. So yeah, I never think about. Darren, please like reveal that. what the answer is. It was B. Oh, oh my ah. god! Believe it. We ah. sucked at this recently. <laughs> oh darn it! You put that together well. That was beautiful. Oh. <laughs> How? What happened? Uh so oh. probably like within my first month or two of driving. Um, these three kids, and I say kids, they were like 16 or something, oh. get in the car, stink of weed. And they also were very, like, incoherent. Right. Um, so they're kind of a little bit sloppy all over the place. And I could hear the one guy playing with a cigarette lighter in the back. So, th so yeah, three of them in the back seat, nobody in the front seat. Yeah. Um, 
And I said to the, I said to the, the guy, I was like, uh, please don't light up in my car. Yeah. But I heard this. Yeah. Like, hear it. And I, you know, people just playing with it. And then at one point I, <gasps> I felt like a little bit of a, you know, like, like don't kind of warning. No way. Yeah. And then moments later, right there. Oh and, my God. Uh, pulled over, please get out of the car. Did you actually say please? I don't think I'd have been like I blacked lot. out. I don't actually remember. Oh, okay. I was terrified. <laughs> okay, that's fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. I I, I have it uh, filmed. Do you? But it's not really like... Wow. Kind of. So your hair was blonde before. It's just burnt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Pretty, pretty ridiculous. It's mommy's boy. Right, Mum, can we yes. talk? Oh, yes. Can we talk, please? Feels like we haven't done it for ages. We have, um, but... So this is the part, Darren, where mm. we get listeners and viewers send stuff in. It can be an embarrassing story or they could be looking for advice mm-hmm. or just a question for us. Mm. Um, and we answer as best we can. Cool. Um, and you can hop in and yes. offer your wisdom. The words of wisdom. As Fabulous. travelled man. Yeah, and tip many wisdom. things. Yes. Awesome. And our first question is from Ethan. Ethan. Hello, Arthur and Mother Lisa. My name is Ethan, and for the past year, I have acquired a new nickname. Oh. This nickname has been developed from my last name. This started out as a way to differentiate myself from another person of the same name, but has quickly evolved (laughs) into being my main name, overtaking my actual name. (laughs) Fucking... How many times does he want to write the word name? So, (laughs) now among my friends, I am known as Mitch... Makes perfect sense. Due to the South African nature of the name Mitch, a story started to develop. Started to develop. This story started as a simple joke that my parents gave birth to me in South Africa, even though me and my parents have never been there in our lives. Right. This has been developed into that... Oh my God, this is sorry, <laughs> something about developed. I can't say the word before it. This has then developed into that I was circumcised by a white rhino on a safari and then was baptised in elephant piss. <laughs> <laughs> He's off his head, isn't wow. he? Yeah. He's this, been on the weed. <laughs> this story would have been okay just... Oh my God, no, sorry, it wouldn't. Forgot. This story would have been okay just being left. However, we met an actual South African man and my friends told him that I was South African. And despite my attempt to tell this man I wasn't, he believed them. He called me a wannabe and said I was ashamed of being South African. My question for you is, have you ever had a nickname? <laughs> and has it ever spiraled out of control? <laughs> love the pod and P.S. Lisa, I love you so much. And you remind oh. me a lot of Rebecca from Ted Lasso. Another one. I thought we were going to say Rebecca Moore, the cock woman, <laughs> whatever her name was. Rebe- oh, t- oh, I'm very happy. I Hannah am going to be Hannah Waddingham in another life. Nice. Oh, bless well, him. Well, that was an intense. Well, Ethan, I think you're a little bit insane. Yeah. But <laughs> God, that's the most complicated. Yeah, that was that story. really hurt my my head to read. Yes, um, you did awfully is, well. But he's, he's going through something. Yeah, I have yeah. to. Yeah, come on, that's barely. Anything but, compared to what he's going through, me yeah. trying to read it. <clears throat> no, M- indeed. Mitch. Well, for a start, I didn't Mitch. know that Mitch had a South African thing. Yeah, neither did I. Thing. Neither. Mitch, I thought it was just like Mitchell. I don't know. Short for Mitchell. Phil Mitchell. Phil Mitchell. And the idea of being circumcised by a white rhino is a bit unpleasant, isn't it? Inefficient. I mean, it, very it's, it's, it messy. Doesn't really as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's thumbs. not going to be a clean cut, is it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I wouldn't even think about the horn. Did you not? Know, well, I was envisioning think? them like Nibbling trying it. to do it with like actual <laughs> the, as a human. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like a rhino just sort of sitting there trying oh, to pick no. up a, a scalpel. What the oh, fuck do you circumcise with? <laughs> what do you, with what the, is the tool of circumcision? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I presume... The person who does the circumcision is called a moil. A what? A moil. A moil. moil. Really? M O I L. Moil. Wow. Yeah. I never knew that. And it's a special pair of scissors. But they probably, oh, they probably do have a name. Yeah. Moil yeah. scissors. Yeah. Why do you know that? I happen to uh, really? know a moil. Do you? <laughs> and is that their only job? Yeah, they, they specialize on do they? Wow. willies. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I think I actually we should get a moil. That's a funny thing, isn't it? get a moil on the show. You should get a moil we on really the show. We really should. Yeah. Mm. And we do should you know... do a live circus. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine a child at school saying, when I grow up, I want to be a moil? Moil. Well, I, God, we're learning moil. so much today. It sounds like an Australian trying to say moil. 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 No, it really big, doesn't. 
Yeah, no, it doesn't. Um, um, what was the other thing? Oh, have you had a nickname? No, have you had a nickname? I have always wanted a nickname, and I did have. Well, I've had a couple. I was Hulk. Hulk was my <laughs> favourite one. <laughs> I still love being called Hulk. Why is that so funny? Did you have green hair? Not expecting Hulk. No, I didn't have green hair. No, Why but my, you Hulk? my because my maiden name is Hull. H U W L. And when I worked in the theatre, I, I was known as Hulk. Because I, cool. I've always had little fat legs. <laughs> <laughs> Not, uh, but he's angry. Did you get angry? No, it wasn't agreeing? anything to do no, with the Hulk. Hulk. It was just, I don't know, just it was Hulk. just a play on the right. word Hull. Okay. And so, you know. And, and it, the other one I had was Leaky, which was also a leaky hull, you know, as in a ship well, yeah, with a hole in yourself. it. Not because Sorry. I was no. doing that, but so that Leaky and mind, Hulk, yeah. they're quite nice. They're quite nice nicknames. Yeah. Hmm. Have, you had, have you had... I did have a nickname D-dog? that I didn't like. D dog. D dog. I like that. D dog. You can call me D dog. Yeah. Anything. Any. Any DL. play on Darren. Keep it on the DL. Yes, that's it. I, I, like any play on Darren. Darren yeah. is such a boring name. Is it? I asked my mum, "How did Darren come about yeah. as becoming my name?" And she said, <laughs> "She said uh, uh, your sister named you." Oh. And then there was a pause, and she said, "We shouldn't have let her do that." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cruel. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, but I used to play soccer, uh, football. You, you call it nice, football. Yeah, well I used done. to play football. Um, and at lunchtime, not many people in my year played football. So oh. I would play with like the older kids. Yes. And there was this dude. So I didn't, I didn't wear any product in my hair at school. Okay. So my hair is quite coarse. And there I was this dude. took care of his hair. There was this dude named fucking Eugene. <laughs> Good fucking you, Is that his name? He called me. So he used to say that I have pubes on my head. Oh. So he called me Osteitis pubis. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Pretty. Wow. That's pretty yeah. intelligent nickname. Yeah. There's Eugene. Very. Yeah. It's Eugene. That's Eugenius. Fucking Eugene. But um, yeah, I didn't like that name. No. I'm not all. surprised. I, yeah. It doesn't that really roll off the tongue either. No. It doesn't really. Yeah. No. Did, and did anybody continue to call you that? Or was it just him? Uh, it was him. And then I guess like. And his some, little. In those circles. Naff group yeah. of people. But I was better at, better at them than yeah, exactly. at football. So, yeah, oh, well, like, so you could kick yeah. it at their heads. Exactly. Excellent. Mm. I'm glad. Um, you've yeah. got great hair. Well, I, I overcompensate now because with... I used to get bullied yeah. for my yeah. hair. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. It's yeah. back in your mind still. Yeah. 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 Mm. 20 years later. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I got, go. I got given Dorito. Oh, Dorito. Mm. Um, for having a triangle head. Yeah. Yeah, so, that stuck. Um, yeah, I tried uh, to give myself one before that. Did you called Twiggy? I na- I put my oh, yes. put my as my Facebook middle name was oh, Arthur Twiggy Hill. Arthur Twiggy Hill. So I was I remember a little that. skinny lad. Yeah, didn't that one didn't that stick? Didn't Nobody stick. called me that. They just called you Dorito. They just called me Dorito. That's fantastic. I remember Bastards. going back. I couldn't believe. I remember going back to school after I'd finished for like to watch a th- play or something like school show. Yeah, and like. A kid who was like in year nine shouted out Dorito. It was like two years after I left. Darling. How the fuck does that even stick like My that? Poor boy. I'd never seen this kid before. <laughs> Maybe he literally thought I was one. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> oh, wait, hang on. We got a question too. Oh, crikey. And it's from Laura from Australia. Oh, fabulous. Laura. I'm going to read it in my Australian accent. Oh, I hope yeah. that doesn't oh, offend dear. you. Uh, not at all. <clears throat> we haven't heard it yet. Hello, <laughs> hello, Queen Lisa, the absolute icon you are, and Arthur too, I guess. I have a bit of a dilemma with one of my friends. I've been friends with her for yonks, and she's always been very smart and never getting into trouble. Ever since graduating from high school, however, she's let loose a bit, which is good, Arthur. but it's getting a bit out of hand now. She's like a Dalek. I thought it was pretty it's good. All it's a bit like that. Yeah. Last bad. year, she started hooking up with someone from her work, which would be fine, except she, he's 26 and married. She's 20. Oh. Oh. The man is in an open relationship, so technically oh. it's okay, but he's also an alcoholic and just not a very nice person. She's also lost her virginity to this guy, so she's not even had experience in a relationship or in a sexual way with other guys. Last week, she told me that she thinks she's pregnant with his child. Oh, my oof, God, I can't actually bear it. Which is very scary. I don't know what she's going to do about it all, but she doesn't seem to be taking it very seriously. She's a very, really good friend, and I'm just afraid she's going down a bad path. Path. Path? How do they say path? Path. 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 
Pat. <laughs> Fuck, I don't even know. I don't even know. <laughs> They've never said it before. Um, <laughs> what does path mean? <laughs> path, path. She's path. going down a bad path, which she might regret. Why do I sound British on the path? I can't say it. I was trying That's really She's weird. going down a bad path. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's going down a bad path. <laughs> <laughs> We're not laughing at Lara, sorry. Well, she might regret. How do I talk to her about this in a way that doesn't seem like I'm trying to intervene in her life and show her I'm just a concerned friend? Much love from Australia. Arthur, please, please, please come on tour here. Oh, Aww, I would yes, love to, Lara. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to lie, I was focusing so hard on the accent, I didn't, didn't comprehend anything I just read. I seriously couldn't no, tell you No, but it's what... truly dreadful. Oh, it is bad. It is truly okay. dreadful. Yeah, it's a bad one. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Mm. I'm just going to scan it quickly while you guys Okay, what's her it? name again? Lara. Oh, Lara. 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 I, well, she does need to. I think she should intervene. Oh, for you? sure. For sure. For sure, I mean, but to what degree? You know, yeah. Well, she's just got to have a conversation, hasn't she? And just say how worried she is. Yeah, but she doesn't want to offside her best friend. Like, she wants to help her, not her friend go, oh, no, no, just, I'm fine. Like, leave me alone. Because her friend's probably having the time yeah, of her life. Like, this guy's I, 26. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but she's 20. And she's thinking of having a baby by a married alcoholic. Mm. Yes, but he could be really good at football. Oh, I thought we were going to say it's sex, obviously. (laughs) But like the potential, like the baby could be really good. Like it's not all downside is what I'm trying to say. Oh, okay. Oh, I hadn't even... I hadn't even thought of that. I understand the optics are quite like... (laughs) This is a a complicated issue, I think. Um, Oh, Arthur's gone all serious. Oh, yeah, okay. But... but, (laughs) (laughs) That's my piece. Who <laughs> might be really good at football? The dad, the alcoholic dad, no, or the, the son, son the who's going to be born? Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. You don't well, know. It what could kind be a girl. Of, it, it, oh, sorry, it, a could be a girl. it could be a girl. Okay, she also might be good at football. Exactly. Right. Um, but oh, do you know what the most annoying bit is? That he's in an open relationship, so it's technically okay. Yeah, but no, it isn't. It doesn't, she doesn't say how sort of happy the other girl is in all of this. That's you know, she might true. actually really fancy him and like him. And want the child. Lara could that, be jealous. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Lara could be jealous. But no, she looks like she's looking out for her friend. I would just say like, <laughs> I would just, I would have a conversation with her. Yeah, absolutely. I'd be like, look, babe. Would you? Are you going to, are you really thinking straight here? Because <laughs> otherwise I'm going to have to, like, I just want to be the best friend to you. I just want to make sure you're happy. <laughs> There's something gone very wrong with you over the last <laughs> 20 seconds. Um, um, yeah, I. Yeah, but as. What's your name? Darren. Darren. <laughs> um, no, I was just going to call you. I don't know what I was going to call you. Baz. But Bazza. <laughs> no, but as you said, Darren, it's, it's finding a way of having that conversation without stepping over. Yeah, I think that you know, is it. But mm. that's for her, to, I'm afraid, Lara. That is your job. We can't help you with well, that. Also, yeah. I'd like to know what Lara's, uh, not Lara's, uh, uh, friend, Lara's friend's parents. Are, well, yes, the there's parents all that, isn't there? Let, let, She's tell only the parents 20. I'm worried and then get the parents to talk to her. Well, the parents probably are worried, aren't they? They mm. can't be, I wouldn't have thought they'd be particularly, oh, who knows? Who there, knows? There is, a, there is a, a lateral option here of finding a way to take the guy out of the picture. So you want to help Lara. Oh, sorry, Lara wants to help him. her friend. Yes. Well, that, that's extreme. Killing him is a bit extreme. <laughs> but, but what if he can be taken out of the picture? Mm. Not lethally. Not lethally. Like there's that as Well, yes, that if she really wants a child yes. and she's happy to do that, then that is another set of circumstances that we don't know about. But, totally. you know, it's going to be have the parents got enough money to help her mm. do that. You know, not many 20-year-olds can support themselves, let alone a little one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Oh, That's a rough one. Oh, Lordy mercy me. Keep us posted, please, Lara. Yes, Lara. Mm. Wow. Tricky Shame. one. Poor Lara. Well, mm. good luck to you, Lara, and Lara's friend, and the Indeed. child, and everyone on earth. Yes. Right, it's time for <gasps> our feature yes. called... Mum, I've got something to tell you. Wow. This is where I give our guests the opportunity to have that difficult conversation that they've always put off having with their own parents and have it with my mum instead. Maybe you broke the TV years ago and blamed it on a sibling or snuck out of the house when she thought you were asleep. Whatever it is, this is your chance to come clean. Mm. So, Darren, Mm. please treat my mum exactly how you would your own. 
I have been already. Oh. Yes. I just want to put that out there. Oh. Uh, you, you do remind me of my mum. Oh. Do very, I? There's a warmth. Oh. Yeah. Because you remind me of my mum. No, wait. No. <laughs> You nutter. <laughs> uh, are you so, a mummy's boy? Absolutely. Uh, oh. I'm the baby of three. And, are and you? And I, okay. I got all the attention nice. that I wanted but from my mum. just mom. not a very good name. You've <laughs> 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 got Barry and who was your sister? Samantha. Samantha. Samantha and Barry. Samantha and Barry. But. Yes. Having said that, there is something I have been keeping Hiding. from my mum, you. Oh. Uh, as you know, I'm not a morning person. Oh, well, that is true. Yeah. <laughs> mm. And um, I also tried to do the whole university thing and that didn't work didn't out. Didn't really I, work out. I started, stopped, started, stopped. Mm. And a lot of the time I had lectures early in the morning at like 8 a.m. Oh. And as you would know, I would have had to go all the way to the other side of the city. So I would drive to the train station, <sighs> oh. wait for a train, and then 40-minute train ride, peak hour, cold winter rainy weather and i hated it yes but you thought i was going i did oh my god darren i'm really sorry to <gasps> to confess i'm embarrassed but i would drive to the train station right open the door of my car <laughs> go oh, it's pretty cold it's pretty rainy I, pretty rainy i'll just go home again no, no. not even because you're you were home so i didn't want you to see that so I ah. would close the door, recline my seat, and have a four-hour nap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. That is outrageous behaviour. Australian accent. Oh, that is outrageous behaviour. Oh, that's oh, good. Wow. That was good. That wasn't bad, that was, was it? <laughs> Those years of watching Neighbours finally came into play. <laughs> oh, now I'm not going to be able to do it no, anymore. Yeah, go on, carry on. Darren. <laughs> yes. I am deeply, deeply upset with this because... What are you laughing at? <laughs> Carry on, girl. If I had known that, mm. I I would never actually, by the time you finally decided, <laughs> went a bit cocked me there, um, to give up on uni, which I was pretty upset about, I have to admit, <laughs> but when you decided that you weren't going to carry on with it, mm. I thought I was pretty kind to you yeah. and understanding. You were. <laughs> but if I'd known this, hell, I'd have whipped your ass. <laughs> oh, I'm all over the you place. Failed at the final. I really am not doing well now. Oh, that's great. I would have. I would. I would have been deeply upset, and and I am quite ashamed of you mm. that you've done this, and you've only just told me now. But we're not going to spend any time on it because every day, millions of people get attacked by a crocodile. <laughs> In yes. Australia. Yes, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So we're not going to spend Cowan. any more time on it, are we, Bob? Nice. No. No, nice. not. Thank you, Bob. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> I've just realised that and they came bounding over. That's also Australian. Different guy but also similar yeah. energy. Who yeah. came bounding over? There's the a crocodiles. guy getting interviewed in Australia about, oh. like, I don't know what, it's like a dog attack or something or something. Yeah, yeah. And it's like a, it's just a sort of normal interview and it's just like oh. a husband and wife and he's quite old. And it's like, oh, and they came bounding over. <laughs> 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 Exactly. You nailed that. You've been doing that in the mirror. That was fantastic. Wow. You should great. definitely play that clip. That is the funniest. I came out into the front yard and the dogs were across the road. And as soon as they saw me, they came bounding over. And I just made it into the front door in time. This is great. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm thinking of loads of Australian That's things. Nice. There's like a, I'm <laughs> here with the big black Austral cockerel. You know this one? <laughs> One of the 500 birds being judged today, and he's got like a big uh, bird, and then it starts attacking his face. <laughs> he's like, oh! oh! <laughs> he runs down this grocery aisle. Big black Australop cockerel. One of 500 birds that are being judged today at the show. <laughs> uh, oh! Good old Australia. Oh, good, oh, good content on the news. Yeah. How marvellous. That's awesome. And now it is time to say oh. goodbye. Adios. I don't want Darren to leave me. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. Saving that one. <laughs> <laughs> Saving that one. <laughs> but thank you very much, Darren, oh. for having us in your car. Yes. Podcast. Podcast. And on our podcast. 
Indeed. Thank you. Not in the oh, car. Thanks for. It's been so nice to meet you. No, likewise. Thanks for making it happen. That was awesome. Thank oh. you. Oh. Um, always remember, yes. listen and watch new episodes every Wednesday. And if you're in need of advice or even just have a question or story that you are desperate for mum to read, slide into the DMs on socials at Mummy's Boy Pod or give me a message on WhatsApp on 07822. 013837. And no matter what the issue, I will ask her. And don't forget, there is only one week to go to our very first Mummy's Boy live show with special guest George Clark and Arthur TV for television at the 2024 podcast show in London on the 22nd of May. Just God. head to Mummy's Boy Pod on Instagram and click the link in bio for tickets. Oh, blimey, that was a long old schlep of stuff, wasn't it? Same as usual. Yeah, I know, it felt long. Well, all right, shut up. All right, then yeah. go fuck yourself. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> goodbye. Off the hill. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. I will have a stern word with my son. It's Mummy's Boy.